We have no internet right now, so I'm taking advantage of that. I'm gonna start ricochet. I'm so, so excited. Honestly, I know nothing about what happens in any of these books, so I am, again, going in blind like I did for the first one. This is shorter, so obviously this will be a shorter video. My brother's let me use his daughter. Who knew my brother could be so generous? <laughs> I'm in a book club with over 2,000 people. Honestly, it's great to have so many people that have the same interests and you can, you know, connect with. It is currently 9.30 and we're gonna start this right now. I want, I, it's short enough that I can finish it on the weekend. I'm so excited. Once again, it has the order. So if anyone has the first book, you can go in and check the order if you want to read all 10 books. Okay, first thing I've got to say, I know the last, the first book had like the heart and then that was like, what it was in like for each chapter are you freaking kidding me this is gorgeous we have decided to do this you know how to create chapters and front covers oh by the way i forgot to say they will be spoilers in this video and any other video you see by me that i'm doing reading vlogs spoilers all the time so if you haven't read ricochet yet or addicted to you i suggest clicking off this video because spoilers ahead but if you're okay with spoilers continue watching i just realized all the colors that i used the last time not gonna be enough i love the way she talks about work she literally goes my best friend my boyfriend the little guy who encompasses my entire life so i'm not gonna have the old apartment anymore wait what am i gonna do with low stuff i'm moving into a house i want to see what i know what they really have but i want to see him. i love this right here i don't think many people can really understand what it's like to be so invested in someone to share every single moment and then have them ripped from you. We have an unhealthy, codependent relationship. I know this, and I'm trying to change, to grow beyond him. But why does that have to be a stipulation? I love that. Aww. I want to love her without people telling me that our love is too much. One day, I hope we'll get there. That's all I have to go on right now. It's my driving force. It's literally what keeps me standing. Jeez, she's inspiring herself. What? Daisy and Rick are a seven-year age gap. Are you kidding me? I mean, five years, I would have been fine with. I thought he was like 20 or something, but then uh, like we found out he's older and he's 22. What? I'm only on chapter two, so I haven't read much. I only read one chapter last night because I was so tired. I started like drifting off while I was reading, so I just had to finish chapter one and then that was it. Ryan feels like the dad in this situation. He's basically taking care of Lo when he's in rehab and he's also taking care of Lily when he's taking care of Lily because of Lo and everything so yeah but he texted daisy literally she just goes do you think he likes me honey he's 22 you're 15. i haven't updated all day because i've i've been reading and i just i've kept my camera upstairs and i couldn't be able to get it i'm sorry i'm almost 100 pages in i had to stop for a couple hours because we're watching a movie for movie night we have to choose from our dvds because we still have no internet at all we haven't had internet for the past two days almost three now i have tabbed a lot you can't really see it but it's mostly like on the bottom i love rose and connor's relationship it's just sad that they've broken up like six times now i hate that i absolutely hate that as well as age gap for daisy and Rike. i feel like they might have an enemy to lovers i don't know the fact that like he was so protective of daisy honey i see you i love the moments with like rose and lily and like daisy and lily i think it's great i want more poppy but i know she's like busy with like her husband and um is it maria so going up to what i was up to i'm um, filming right now basically they have this thing for um her dad's company it's fizzle right and they have a new soda and they haven't had one in like five years apparently and so they're doing like this whole thing their mum being a total bitch basically gave the girls dates poppy was just to just bring her husband obviously and then daisy rose and lily were gonna have dates that were planned by their mum because why not be a bitch so basically um like an old an old bully is lily's date and so daisy goes hey back off she has a boyfriend and then aaron goes and do i look like a give a shit and then the new voice comes in and they say, I do. 
and it's Reich. Reich coming to save today again. I love him. I love him so much. Imagine, like, I know, like, he's in rehab and everything, but just imagine if it was low. Just, just imagine. Also, I like how they're going by months. So it's got like January, February, and I think it goes for nine months or something. No, not nine months. I think maybe three. Right, this goes, then don't believe me. I don't really fucking care. But you sound messing with his girlfriend, and then I will care. I want Connor to walk in. Please, I want Connor to walk in. It's not gonna happen, because they're broken up. And, like, it's not going. But please, just be there. I am so bad at updating. Oh my god. So, I only got up to about 157 today. Um more than halfway and i'm definitely gonna be finishing it tomorrow just because i was out today and i kept getting distracted one of the many reasons i did not finish it today because i really wanted to finish it today but i didn't i'm loving this um they are on the yacht for daisy's birthday and of course reich was there i'm so happy that we're getting reich and daisy content i love them so much honestly daisy's a badass for a 16 year old i also I like how this book has a lot of like flashbacks to like two to three years ago of Lily and Lo. I just I want to see them like together together but I know he's in rehab. Oh and I also got very excited when he called her from rehab. I feel like the conversation was just a little bit awkward. Just say that you love him and everything but like she doesn't say it. I'm happy that she's going to see a therapist now and the fact that Rose literally pretended that she had a sex addiction addition what addiction a sex addiction i'm not even gonna bother saying it she's just trying to find the right therapist to help lily she's amazing if you do not like rose we did not read the same book <laughs> i'll tell you that right now to any person that did not like the same characters as me in any book you did not read the same book as me or anyone else that liked the characters in fact honestly her relationship with rose and daisy is just i do want to see a bit more rose and connor i'm hoping that they're back together right now because we haven't gone to anything no they're they're together again wait they went on that date yeah on um what was it valentine's day wait 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 going back to yesterday this is so funny this is between rack and daisy I honestly thought it was just funny. She goes, your hips also don't have to be measured in the morning. And then he goes, they can be. Will you eat the fucking cake if I measure my hips? And then she goes, and your ass. And he goes, you want to know the size of my ass? Yep, eat the cake. <laughs> uh, we love that. Where is it? The way that like Connor was just like, yep, I'm going straight. I'm going to go straight for Rose, you know? So cute. Okay, <clears throat> this is a little conversation. He goes, a little bird told me you are upset. Are you crazy? You're talking to birds now? I'd talk to any woodland character if he'd give me answers about you. Would you walk through fire for me? Yes. Burn my name on your ass? Possibly. Drink cow's blood in your honour? You're so fucking weird. <laughs> I love them. I grew. I saw something. Wait, what was that? <gasps> There's a bonus scene for Addicted for now? Should I read it or should I wait? Do I read the bonus scene? But then I have to wait a long time to get Addicted for now. And the rest of the books. I want to keep reading because I do want to try it and at least get to 200 pages. And then I can just finish the rest off tomorrow. But yeah, we're currently in February. And I think it only goes to like March. I feel like I'm not typing as much. Like I'm typing a lot, but I'm not typing as much as the last book. But I mean, it's shorter. But anyways, I'm going to keep reading. I'll update you if I do end up updating again tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow and I'll probably have to finish the book. Honestly, I'm just enjoying this too much that I keep forgetting to update. So just expect me to do full-blown updates probably after I finish the book. Because I can't update right. That's okay. You guys still get my thoughts. That better taste weak because of my toothpaste. Also, before I sign off for tonight. Tonight? Sign off? What? Before I turn off my camera, I just wanted to show you that I'm proud of. I... It, it's literally nothing, but I just wanted to show you guys because I'm proud of doing this. Basically, if you can see on my shelf, I switched those two around. So now I have my murder mystery and contemporary just along there. And then I have my fantasy there. So it goes fantasy, fantasy, contemporary, murder mystery and all that stuff. And then fantasy and then 
other books. She was literally 15, 16 years old. And they're talking about a guy fingering them. And then one of the girls just goes, let's ask Lily. She's old and has a boyfriend. I'm sure she'd know. What? Who even talks about that stuff? Like, yeah, I guess it's normal for some people to talk about it. But like, seriously, you're on a yacht. That's not really a reason, but it's, it's weird. Honestly, I think that Ryak is enjoying this a little too. It's just like sunbathing on his tube and probably listening to the girl's conversation. This is going great. Absolutely great. <laughs> review time. I literally put this back last night and realized I had to do a review today for it. So we're gonna do that. I finished this last night. I know I said that I was only gonna read like a chapter and go to bed. I think I did. I don't know. But that was in my mind. I said that to myself. I was gonna read just one more chapter and then go to bed. I ended up finishing the whole book. I started tearing up at the end just because, you know, three months and it's a struggle for Lily, you know. For anyone that doesn't know and hasn't read the book yet and you've watched this whole video through and have gone through spoilers, congratulations on spoiling everything. But that's okay, you know, I do that a lot. Honestly, now any video I go past about a book that I haven't read yet is gonna be spoiled for me. What's the point? Because sooner or later it's gonna be spoiled for me before I even read it. Anyways, basically this book is just about Lily and her fighting her addiction for three months. And so you get all three months to January, February, March, which I honestly loved how there was like sections of it. And I thought it was pretty good. And also like the flashbacks, they were so cute but at the same time. They were cute, but they're also kind of heartbreaking, you know? You know what I mean? I started tearing up at the end because of how far she's come. Yeah, even though it's been three months, you know, she's had this addiction for years. And she's been able to, like, kind of overcome it and be strong for, you know, Rose and Lo and just everyone in her life. I love Rose and Connor. Oh my god. I love them so much. Where's that last little bit? We finally got to see them kiss. I tabbed it as well. I had to. Five stars. Honestly, I was gonna give it 4.5, but that was because we didn't really see Lo in the present time as much, like, with her. But just the phone calls and the Skype made up for it. There's also a bonus scene for Addicted for Now, and I'm not gonna read it. That's the thing. I want to. If I read it now, then I'm gonna want to read the next book, but I don't have it, and I'm saving my money. But wait until December. This series, I'm definitely committing to all 10 books. I know a lot of people are like, oh... That's a lot. But like if you compare it to like Harry Potter and Throne of Glass and maybe any other series like Mortal Instruments. I know those are fantasy books but either way. Those are like commitment and I'm definitely going to be it for this. I've committed for those as well. I love this. I'm so excited as well to see Daisy and Rye. I'm like so excited for the rest of the books honestly. Lily and Lo have my heart already. I love them way too much so that is it for this vlog this is probably i feel like this is definitely shorter than the first one just because i didn't vlog much for this one and i just wanted to really enjoy it without putting the camera in my face i guess so hopefully you guys will understand i feel like that might be for the rest of the books just because i am enjoying it so much already that i feel like i'm gonna have to literally do like catch up just like parts in the video where i have to like catch up on what i've been reading just because of how far i've probably gone into the book i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any videos that you want to see by me put them in the comments i'm gonna let's just say that like every video because i have nothing but reading vlogs to do you know what i mean you know it's very hard when you're doing book content if you do want to see more addicted slash colorway sister series vlogs by me definitely click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every time i upload i hope you all have a lovely day or night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye